What's good, Fly Squad? First off, shout out Nody Squad for coming through off the early. Y'all already know. Today, I'm going to be talking about NFL 2K. reason I'm going to talk about NFL 2K is because I feel like there are a few things, if they're able to go the simulation route, which they might actually be able to, that they can already do better than Madden from the jump. Like, coming out the gates, they might be able to do these three things better than Madden. But before we get too far into this video, tell a hater what? Worry about yourself. Again, my name is FlyGuyGBG. If you are new, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Like the video as well. It's really going to help your boy out. I really appreciate it. But let's get right into it. What are three things that I feel like NFL 2K could do off the break better than Madden? Now, first off, it is said that 2K is going to be creating a game for casual gamers. It's going to be for a casual experience. So it may not actually be a simulation game. However... The year that they are supposed to launch their game is the same year that Madden loses simulation rights to the NFL gaming. Ah, ha ha ha, I know. People don't really consider Madden a simulation game. However, it is supposed to be a simulation game when it comes to how the game plays. It's actually how EA Sports advertises their game. They advertise it as a simulation game, even though there are things that we would consider arcade-ish. Madden isn't advertised as an over-the-top arcade game, for example, like NFL Blitz or NFL Street. It is advertised to be a realistic experience. However, there is people that doubt that that's actually the case, seeing that Madden does focus on features opposed to fixing core gameplay issues. Now, the first thing I think that 2K can actually do better than Madden, and it's not going to be a list of, like, top to bottom which should be prioritized but it's just something that i think the nfl 2k can do better than madden from the jump and that's going to be player likeness honestly madden yes they have the feature where different players can actually do different things their abilities kind of match how they are in real life however it's more of an arcade kind of battle if you give the ball to dalvin cook he can make little jukes that he really shouldn't be able to make he can break tackles he shouldn't be able to break even though yes dalvin cook is very elusive it's almost unrealistic and then on top of that players don't look like themselves even though madden puts out likeness updates all the time all the time i still feel like players do not look like themselves and i understand i definitely understand players have their helmets on so you can't really see it all the time so what's the point of even doing it no i still want my players to look exactly like they look in real life for example i was looking at all pro football 2k8 and they had jerry rice in there and jerry rice looked exactly like jerry rice but in madden it's still 12 years later and these players do not look exactly how they look in real life and I feel like that's an eyesore for those people that really look for those things and I feel like yes the PC modding community might be okay with that but like us that play console gaming no no it, it doesn't look good like even in this thumbnail you can tell that that is Stefan Diggs but does it really look like Stefan Diggs really not really I can't say that it looks exactly like him it favors him maybe but it doesn't actually look like him at all. Given how good the likenesses are in NBA 2K, I can only imagine how good they can get them in NFL 2K if they were to take the time to do so. And I feel like 2K does not not take the time. They actually like to make authentic experiences that actually look good. Of course, people will argue that NBA 2K isn't perfect because of the park and their online experience. But if you actually play the NBA portion of NBA 2K, NBA 2K is near flawless when it comes to their gameplay, their signature, and how players actually look. 2K is a wizard at capturing the NBA's essence. It captures every likeness of each and every player. And I imagine that NFL 2K would do the exact same thing. Which brings me to my next topic. One other thing that NFL 2K could do better than Madden, as is right now, is customization. We all know how long it took Madden to finally start to get certain accessories in the game, and they still haven't added everything that people have, that people wear, in the NFL. They haven't captured all of that yet. But guess what? 2K would do that, because 2K does capture the finer details 
They capture the things that fans want to see in the game. They like the details. They are detail oriented. And yes, I said detail like three times in the last 30 seconds, but that's what 2K is. But not only that, 2K allows PC modding. And when I say PC modding, if you've seen some of the things that you can do on 2K because of the mods, for example, I know one of my guys, he actually created My Hero Academia. He created Azuku in 2K. And Azuku was able to play basketball in 2K. Imagine being able to do that in NFL 2K. And the reason that would be fun is because that for me, that would be more content creation. That's gonna help content creators in the future. But then on top of that, you're able to create players from the past that might not be in NFL 2K. They might not be in NFL 2K. 2K may not have the rights to these players, but guess what? Because of the modding community, it's quite possible that you would be able to put these certain players in the game. Or even certain things like bringing LeBron James to the NFL as a tight end, or bringing Zion Williamson to the NFL as a tight end or something like that. Those things would be able to be done because of the customization that NFL 2K usually allows in their games. Aside from WWE 2K, player likeness and customization are just two ways that NFL 2K could already be better than Madden. But it's also possible that there's one other thing that 2K can do better. And that's going to be a franchise mode. Because we know Madden has stripped the franchise mode of its former glory over the years. They've rebooted their franchise literally maybe like two or three times, and it has not been successful since. But every time 2K releases a football game, even in all pro football 2K8, they definitely put the time in for a franchise style mode. There is literally things that were in a Madden franchise in Madden 04, Madden 05, that have not returned to Madden. It is Madden 20. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a franchise guy. I play head-to-head -head online only. But at the same time, I know people that like to play offline. For example, my younger brother, he had Madden 18 for two years because he had a franchise on there that he was really still building. He still plays it because he has a dynasty on that joint with his Cowboys. I'm just saying, people really like to do that stuff. Yes. A lot of people will say, oh, well, they're not concerned about that because Madden is concerned about Mutt. And that might be true. It's possible that that's true because Mutt is the money maker. But 2K, from the rip, can go ahead and create a mode that's way deeper, way a way deeper franchise mode than Madden. Multiple team trades, trading up for draft picks, doing all types of things that right now you really can't do in Madden. Hiring your own staff making the staff actually work the way you want them to work so that you are actually building a scheme that's your actual scheme they don't have that in madden right now maybe you want to franchise tag somebody maybe you want to sign into a long-term deal you know what madden has some of that stuff but at the same time it's still not as deep as it needs to be and the scenario engine this year was supposed to alleviate some of the things that did happen but it's still not ready yet the scenario engine does have potential, but Madden really isn't ready to improve their franchise mode as much as they should. And that's where NFL 2K can take advantage and take a good market share if they decided to go ahead and go that route. If you've played NBA 2K at any point in time, you know how deep their MyGM is. Their MyGM is extra deep. Even though that's probably one of their least played modes in the game, they still put the time and effort into that mode so that people will have an enjoyable offline experience. And I feel like the same thing could be said for NFL 2K if it came down to that. Now, a lot more of you guys have enjoyed 2K more than I have. Yes, I've been playing NFL 2K since NFL 2K on Dreamcast back in the year 1999. I've been playing it for that long. What do you guys feel like 2K can do better than Madden from the jump? Put those in the comments for me. Let me know. Comment below. But, again, if you are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to your boy and turn on those notifications. Like the video as well, man. Because I'm telling you, I feel like NFL 2K could be a gem if Madden loses that simulation license, that exclusive simulation license. But until the next time, your boy Fly Guy, I'm out.